Hello, Bay Broncos. Today is Friday, March 13th, and today I'm going to be reading Pete the Cat, Pete at the Beach by James Dean. But first, um, you know, this has been a tough week. We had some wonderful things happen at Bay. Uh, we had Kids for the Bay assemblies put on by Ms. Pyers and Ms. Covey's classes. That was wonderful. We had PTA Fitness Night on Tuesday. Our fifth graders got to go to Bohannon on Wednesday. We had an SSC meeting, and today we had a professional development day. But overall, what I know parents have been calling about and what we've been concerned about is the coronavirus. There's been a lot of questions about um, are schools closing? Is the school schedule going to change? Um, I know that a lot of school districts in our area have closed or changed their schedules. And so the information that I have for you is that tonight at 7 p.m., the school board for San Lorenzo Unified School District will be meeting and they will be talking about our district's response to the coronavirus. Um, they're not encouraging people to attend simply because of um, this idea of social distancing and trying to protect ourselves, but what they are saying is that there will be emails and website updates immediately following the meeting. As you know, this is an ever-changing situation and our district has been in contact with other districts in the area, the other superintendents, Alameda County Health, the Department of Education, and everyone just to try to make sure that the decisions that we're making are keeping our staff and our students safe, as well as preserving the education of our students. So, um, that is what I know, and tonight I think we'll all know more. Um, regardless, if we do return to school next week, we are going to be practicing social distancing at bay. Not hugs, not high fives, not fist bumps. We're gonna try to stay away from even elbow bumps. Lessening the touching, which is super hard for me because I will tell you that I get attacked by kindergartners, first graders, and TK students all the time with love, which I love. I love so much, but we all have to keep ourselves safe. Um, so instead, we're gonna wave hello. We can do I love you signs. We can also, so this is the sign for horse. And since we are the Bay Broncos, that can be our special hello sign. Hello. So it's like a horse's ear twitching, so the fly is away. So that's a sign for horse. So we're really gonna try, if we are in school, to limit our contact with one another. Um, so that said, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, my email is on the Bay website and I will answer them to the best of my ability, but do know that's an ever-changing situation, and so the information that I get is different. The information I have now is different than the information I had this morning. So 7 p.m. tonight, the school board is going to meet, and they're going to make a decision, and then that information will be disseminated. I will be keeping my ear out and making sure that it goes on Facebook and that um, you get that information in as many ways as I possibly can give it to you. So, again, thank you all for your patience, and... Um, know that we love your kids and we want to keep them safe too. So that said, I have a book to read to you. Um, even if we do go through school closures, please keep your eyes open for Friday videos. I will still be posting with information and with books. And if your kids are home, you're going to want them to listen to books that someone else reads at some point. So I'm here for you. Um, so it's called Pete the Cat, Pete at the Beach. This was actually one of my kids' favorite books when they were little. That's Ian, my 13-year-old. This was his book. Pete the Cat, Pete at the Beach. It is a hot day. Pete the Cat goes to the beach with his mom and his brother, Bob. Let's go in the water, Bob says. Maybe later, says Pete. Bob likes to surf. He rides the big waves. It looks like fun. I'm hot, says Pete. Go in the water says mom. Maybe later, says Pete. He looks so cute, his little floppy ears. It's almost like our, um, our bronco ear, right? Pete makes a sand castle. His mom helps him dig. Here comes a big wave, and there goes Pete. Oh no, where did his sand castle go? Bob rides a big wave. Wow, says Pete, that looks like fun. Pete and his mom take a walk. They find seashells. They see a crab. Pete's feet get wet. His feet feel cool. The rest of him is hot. You can tell by his ears, can't you? Yeah, he doesn't look too happy. It is time for lunch. Pete eats a sandwich. He drinks lemonade. The sun is very hot. 
and Pete is very, very hot. Bob is wet and cool. Let's play ball, says Pete. No thanks, says Bob. I want to surf. Pete throws the ball. His mom catches it. Let's get our feet wet, says mom. Well, okay, says Pete. The water is cool. It feels good. Pete goes in deeper. Bob waves to Pete. I want to show you how to surf, he yells. Pete does not say maybe later. He says, let's do it. Look, his ears are perked up again. <laughs> Lie on the board, says Bob. Pete lies on the board. Paddle, says Bob. Pete paddles out. He waits for a big wave. A big wave is coming. Stand up, says Bob. Pete stands up. He doesn't look too steady, though. You see those little motion movements? Whoa. Then Pete falls down. It was scary, but it did not hurt. Try again later, says Bob. Pete wants to try again now. Pete lies down again. He paddles out and waits. Here comes a wave. Pete stands up. This time he rides the wave. Good job, says Bob. Pete wants to surf all day. Bob does too, so they take turns. Pete and Bob rock and roll with the waves. What a great day. It is okay to be afraid, but it is more fun to surf. Oh, I'm glad that Pete finally found something that could keep him cool and that he'd like. So, my friends, um, tonight we'll know better if I'll see you next week, but know that even if I don't see you next week, I'll definitely be thinking you of you, and I will try to keep you up to date with the information that I know. So, today and every day, it's great to be a Bronco. Bye, Bronco friends.